guys, welcome to Mugen Toys, and today we're gonna do a toy review of Marvel Legends Spider-Man Homecoming. So, another addition for my MCU 3.75 inch scale. Okay, so as we see from the window box packaging, everything packs a punch. Alright, so let's just take a look at the back. A little backstory there about Spider-Man and Vulture. And now, without further ado, let's open this thing and check what's inside. Okay, so here they are out of packaging. As you can see, um, Vulture towers up. Spider-Man is in. He looks like just a high school or college boy, but it's pretty awesome, you know? For the size, it's pretty on scale. Alright, so let's check on the Spider-Man quickly. Okay, so see the likeness from the movie, from the homecoming movie, that's it, perfect. Even for the logo of Spider-Man at the back, there you go, let's check on that, see, everything's awesome. Alright, so for articulation, that's how far you can spread his arms. So we can move the biceps here, bicep swivel, the arms rotate nicely, and look at the hand, that's a, it's on a web shooting hand right there, it's on a web shooting pose, so you can pose him while shooting on the webs for the head, it's a ball joint, we have two joints for the head, see that, so you can put his head looking upwards downwards slow as that there you go just like the Falcon okay and then for the ties it's like a GI Joe joint as you can see GI Joe joint double jointed knees and ankle rocker on foot all right so very possible for spider-man it's perfect very perfect okay so let's go on and check on vulture okay for vulture you can see the likeness of the helmet see that even for the jacket itself arms are uh, behind him two peg holes for the backpack and then look at the sharp talons however there are no articulations for the talons okay so let's go ahead for the articulation arms go that wide okay so bend at the elbows we have a bicep swivel but uh, unfortunately no wrist articulation no ab crunch no torso articulation uh, for the legs the same like GI Joe and uh, we have double jointed knees and we have the same ankle rocker see that see that ankle rocker joint but as I said unfortunately no articulation on the talons so better if they put some articulation on the talons so he can snatch and grab Peter Parker on mid-air and for the backpack both wings move at the same time look at that and here is another view another angle on top so they didn't put the blades here however still looks awesome so for me this still looks great completing my MCU figures let's just snap it there there we go so look at the wingspan for vulture let's just put him on a better pose so he can stand by his own all right there we go let's move it right here okay so that's how they pose side by side okay Okay, so we will move to figure comparison. 
Let's just take a vulture away for a moment. Let's put the Ultra Possible Spider Man by Andrew Garfield. There we go. So you can see the height is just the same, almost identical. They're almost identical to one another. Okay. So that looks great. That looks awesome. The back. However, the first Spider-Man uh, poses better for me because this new Spider-Man from Homecoming is a little rubbery in texture so it's a little bit sticky but still awesome for me it's still awesome okay so another size comparison let's just take them out of the view real quick let's put Vulture back and of course we will have counterpart which is Falcon okay so look at the wingspan there I'll put Falcon at the back or behind see they're almost identical in size I mean in length but as from the movie or from the MCU movie that we have uh, watched Vulture's backpack should be a little bit bigger as in big like a big glider so anyway still kudos to Marvel for doing such a great figure especially on this line on this GI Joe Star Wars Marvel Universe 3.75 inch line okay so let's move to more figure comparisons okay so for more size comparison I'll put the Pteranodon here look at the wingspan of this Pteranodon almost identical to Falcon and Vulture there we go and then let's remove them out of the scene for a while I'll put that MCU spider-man okay it's the same costume or it's the same um, suit that he used in Civil War so it's really one of the best let's put spider-man Andrew Garfield here all right uh, one sec Okay, got it. And then we got the rock figure from Rampage. We have the rock here at the back behind them. So it's he's a little taller. And then let's put blue right here. There we go. And then let's put uh, Hulk. Let's put a Hulk figure at the very back. There we go. And of course, another villain, the Rhino. Okay, look at that. For the size comparison, that's how far they go in line with each other. Alright, so. I guess that's it for today. I hope you liked my review. So uh, please do like and share, subscribe, and as always, keep collecting because collecting is endless.